Hello, when was the last time you confronted someone about something without getting off point or angry? Stay tuned, I want us to talk about that in this video. My job now is mainly driving and I'm not complaining but I'm just observing so it makes me want to get active in another way a few errands before I go out as well as getting some warmth I think it's about to snow Paper rolls today. Huge paper rolls going up north. I wonder what they have for us. I suspect it's a bit of <laughs> festive juice. Always coming from the north. Right. I used to say, I used to think that religious people. I not allowed confrontation. Confrontation is something I used to avoid just because I've told people who watch me regularly I'm a religious person. I go to church, I read in church and you know, I don't that mean that I, I'm not a normal guy, but I just observe and and so I always thought we're not allowed, to, you know, to talk back and things. But I guess what? If you read carefully, yeah, it looks good. Confrontation, you cannot avoid in this world. Sometimes you have to sh talk it out shout it out with someone if you don't you will suffer speak to you in a bit let me get in of this video I live on my own and the landlord lives next door so he's made his apartment next to his own home and recently his son started slamming doors a bit before I get up a bit before my uh, waking up time his, uh, his teenage son started slamming doors like really loud you know you really have to get up and you know what that does if you you know what that does you can't really get back but it's enough also to get you to lose a job or a license you know disturbed sleep proper i gave it a few days and then i complained to the landlady the land she said fine fine i'll let him know and i thought that was it the next day next afternoon same thing Afternoon after, same thing. So I had a horrible time. Now, one of the afternoons I'd had enough. So I waited for, for him to do it again. Yeah? Mid afternoon, and you're walking in the evening. He does it, I get up quickly, and I go and meet him there. Uh huh. What's this? Uh, uh, I, I'm trying to get my mom to, to open the door for me. I'm like, do, I'm still asking him. I realize he's, he's there with his dad. His dad is at the car. 
and um, his mom is hurrying up to open for him. So I come in, intercept, and I tell him, listen, this is a joke. This is a joke. I've complained about this. Why is this still happening? They're all speechless. Huh? I complained about this two weeks ago. Do you know what it takes to do a night job? They're all quiet. I'm like, hey, that's not going to happen. That's, uh, you're not going to do that. Um, um, um. But to me, why didn't I complain straight away? Or when I find it, I'm not, I naturally don't, don't come out with, I don't do confrontation easily. I don't like to confront people. I don't, I don't, you know, confrontation is not my comfort zone. It's not my comfort zone. But right now I've realized. Keep realizing that without confrontation, you you get walked on. And it don't, it don't mean that you're doing anything wrong. It's just in our lives, all the time, you're going to have to confront someone. However nice you are, however much you walk in a straight line in your life, you're going to have to confront some people. You can't stay and get be a pushover. You can't. So, I just got very well reminded about that. From then on, it's been peace. Very quiet, very what. But I was just thinking, why didn't I even... Why didn't I confront this person ages ago? You know? As a leader, I'm a, I'm a, a manager, aren't I? I'm a transport manager. Confrontation skills. A leadership skill, I think. Because if you're, a, you're in charge and then you can't really face off people, you know, stand up to people and tell them off and what. You know, I keep noticing what I need to work on as a leader. That's one of them. You know? But then there is a thin line between uh, over, say, between anger and confrontation. And, you know, an angry outburst and, uh, and confrontation is two big things. I think that's the reason why I always avoided it is because I always worked on my, um, on my anger problem. Ages ago, I think I had an anger problem. So I started reading about it and, and, and knowing what to do and walking away and things like that, let go, letting go. But then now I've gone on to the other side, to the other extreme. I think that's what has happened to me. I've gone on to the other extreme. When I, I, instead of coming out and, and actually having a good exchange, I'm avoiding everything. I, keep, I try to keep every, you know, avoiding because I don't want to get angry. Once you get angry, again, you, even you're sinning. You know, being angry is sinning. You lose, you know, a lot. You lose a lot when you're, when you're angry. So, on my avoiding to be angry, again, I'm skipping and not confronting issues. So I thought I would just uh, share that part. Share that little life lesson. Confrontation, we can't avoid. If you, even if you're just doing your thing and you're just doing the right thing, you will always find bullies in life. You will find bullies you have to, 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 to confront, you have to deal with it. But watch yourself about going angry and over and end down being the loser. If you get angry and do the, the, the shit thing, then you're in trouble. So me, I just flew onto the other side. Oh, I don't want, I don't want, I'll leave it, I'll leave it, I'll go away, I'll walk away. That's what I was trying to do all the time. But now... And I, I, um, I need to know where, where, where the limit is without getting angry. So I would share that, that lesson. I ain't going to stay on too long. Um, if you enjoy this kind of content uh, on this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Leave us a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed this video. Um, it's not a long one. It's just a simple lesson there that we can take it. Um, Confrontation, you don't mean that you're a bad person, you just, you have to deal with situations as they come. The, the only big deal is, the only other thing is not going over. But I realize confrontation is a leadership skill that you can't avoid if you're really in charge. Alright, stay safe, God bless.
love ya.